How pneumatic actuators work and advantages of pneumatic actuators. Pneumatic actuators are essential to hundreds of different industries and have many uses. To understand how you can apply pneumatic cylinders, you should familiarize yourself with the fundamentals. This guide will answer the questions, what is a pneumatic actuator, how does an actuator work, what are the different types available and what is the function of a pneumatic actuator. What is a pneumatic actuation system? Pneumatic actuators are highly reliable, efficient and safe sources of motion control that use pressurized air or gas to convert energy into rotary or linear motion. They are especially appropriate for the repeated opening and closing of valves and other industrial applications where the use of electricity may cause a fire or ignition hazard. Actuators are commonly used to control the valves that direct the movement of fluids in the chemical and process industries. Pneumatic actuators have several different names, including pneumatic cylinders, air cylinders and air actuators. Each of these terms is synonymous with the other, as they all identify the device as air pressure based. Another name for an air cylinder is pneumatic ram, in which the ram is referring to the linear piston. How does a pneumatic actuator work? Pneumatic actuators rely on some form of pressurized gas, most often compressed air, entering a chamber, where the gas builds up pressure. When it has built up enough pressure in contrast to the outside atmospheric pressure, it results in the controlled kinetic movement of a device such as a piston or gear. This resulting movement can be directed in either a straight line or circular motion. Since the conversion of compressed gas into energy can be highly controlled and is reliable and repeatable, pneumatic actuators are one of the most popular mechanical devices used in a wide array of modern industries. Types of pneumatic cylinders There are two primary varieties of pneumatic linear actuators, single acting and double acting. They both work to push forward a piston, but the main differences are the return method and number of ports. Single acting cylinders have one port that allows air to flow into the cylinder. The pressure increases and pushes the piston forward or backward, depending on whether it is a push or pull type. A large spring returns the piston to its original position, preparing it for another burst of pressure. The spring is either positioned inside the cylinder or on the outside. Double acting cylinders operate without a spring and instead have two ports, one on either end of the piston. The first application of pressure pushes the piston forward, a step in the process that the two models share. Then, the second burst of pressure on the other side of the cylinder pushes the piston back into place. The device applies pressure back and forth to create a smooth linear motion. Typically, double action cylinders are better for industrial uses that require speed and strength, as they provide more force at a faster rate. They may also offer a longer lifespan before needing replacement. However, they are a more expensive option in comparison. Single action cylinders also have other advantages besides cost. They have a more straightforward design, are more compact and require half the amount of compressed air to function. Pneumatic actuator applications Pneumatic actuators have a wide variety of applications. Among the most common and popular uses are the pistons and ignition chambers in gasoline-powered vehicles. They use ignition of the air and gasoline to create the pressurized force that eventually moves the piston and converts energy into the car's crankshaft. However, the majority of pneumatic actuators rely only on pressurized gas with no ignition to produce the desired mechanical force. In addition to the conventional combustible automobile engine, pneumatic actuators are essential in air compressors, packaging and production machinery, mail tubes and transportation equipment like railway and aircraft applications. They're crucial in many other industrial situations that call for switch, pump or sensor control as well. Advantages of pneumatic actuators The benefits of pneumatic actuators stem from both their overall safety and reliability. First of all, since pneumatic actuators can convert energy into motion without ignition or electricity, they're highly sought after in situations where sparking and combustion cannot be tolerated. In these settings, compressed air can be stored and used in an efficient and repeatable manner that poses no fire risk.
second, since pneumatic actuators that don't rely on combustion can be manufactured easily and are relatively simple devices, they are also extremely durable, have minimal maintenance needs and offer a long operational life when used correctly.